Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be a reading. It's for um, Aquarius. It's for anyone with Aquarius placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Aquarius reading for whatever reason you're guided here. Um, this reading could resonate now or it can resonate later on down the line or it could resonate at any time that you're guided to see it for whatever reason. Let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Aquarius reading for the weekly reading for Aquarius. What do we need to know about it? What are the most important messages we have for the people who need them the most? What do we need to know? Please send through the most important messages that the people who will be guided here need to see. What do we need to know about it? What are the most important messages? All right, let's do it. So Aquarius reading. What do we need to know? This is a weekly reading, but could resonate at any time for anyone who's guided. Okay, you've got the Knight of Swords reversed. Uh, for me, it's usually the liar, liar, pants on fire. So you might have somebody in your life that's been lying, or you could have went through something where there was some kind of lie told two of swords also reverse here this also could be um there's like some kind of imbalance here these um these are both libra cards for me both of them the two of swords reverse and the knight of swords reverse see how they're both like this one's got the justice on it here at the bottom the knight of swords and the two of swords is always a libra card so um i'm just looking at this yeah, let's get you a little bit more. Um, so you're trying to see something, trying to see something clearly. Maybe this is lack of clarity. It might not be a lie. Um, sometimes it can be a lack of clarity. With the other cards, I see it might be. Give me the central issue here. What do we need to know about the central issue? Aquarius reading. Okay. That's way too many. I can't take all that. Can we just do one or two? I forgot to tell you guys this was the um, beautiful pre raphaelite tarot deck. Beautiful, very detailed deck. Can we get the central issue here? They're a bit stiff. Sometimes I have to bend them, but they're gorgeous cards. Tell me about this central issue here for the Aquarius reading. What's the central issue we should know about here? Just one or two. Okay, we got the four of cups reversed. Yeah, so, <laughs> all right. There is something going on. Either you or a Libra isn't seeing something. Now, you might not know this person is a Libra. It could be their moon, their rising, their Venus, their Mercury, their Mars, their Saturn. It could be a different placement, right? Um, my readings are for any placement uh, in your chart. So this could also be your energy. But I feel like you're... You're either, you have a strong Libra or someone else around you has a strong Libra and somebody's not seeing something. There's something that they don't see correctly or you don't. Wow. <laughs> this is beautiful, the bottom of the deck. Okay, Queen of Cups. All right, so this could be you or it could be someone around you that is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Yeah, so there's... <laughs> There's definitely someone who's not seeing something clearly here. All right. So we have here the moon and the queen of cups, right? This person isn't seeing something correctly or you're not, right? If, the, if you feel like this is you, um, there might be something that um, you're unsure of. There might be something that just... Now, the reason I say it's a lack of clarity, it's the moon clouds things. And then we have these two cards here that also can represent lack of clarity. Like this person is trying to make a decision, but they're blindfolded. How do I make a decision if I can't see something clearly? The Knight of Swords reverse, although it is my liar, liar, pants on fire card, it also with other cards can mean lack of clarity for me. And with the moon, the two of swords and the hermit here, trying to see something clearly says to me i don't have clarity i feel like this is for most of you this is you um trying to get clarity on something and if not it's you trying to get clarity on this person right but see she's here with the moon so i feel like she doesn't have clarity and i feel like for most of you she is you if you're a feminine especially but she queen of cups can be masculine as well you know it depends on you like queen of cups is feminine but you could come through as the queen of cups i come through as kings all the time in my readings um and i think feel like different times when you're going through different things you take on different uh roles so queen of cups can be you 
or it could be somebody around you coming through in a lot of uh, emotional energy with the moon here this could be a pisces this could be a cancer this could be a scorpio it could be anybody really it could definitely be aquarius so as we come into the reading we have something about we can't see something clearly and it's here and it's here and it's here and it's here and it's everywhere right we can't see something clear there's something we can't or if it's not you it's this person if you feel it's a different person but what i feel they don't see or you don't see is this cup being offered to you it's like hey over here but look at their working and they don't see it right and that's it's in reverse it's the central issue of your reading now i feel like you're going to get this clarity or they are right so we're talking about you as an aquarius we're talking about cancer pisces scorpio libra and virgo here these are the and scorpio's down here and so is your energy of aquarius and libra again so there's when i look at even um the two of cups has the leo energy in it as well i'm just telling you all the signs i see i see a lot of libra 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 to me the nine of pentacles is libra um it can also be earth but it's libra for me <coughs> as well and the six of pentacles is the same way it's libra um lots of libra cancer pisces scorpio virgo and you and um and that's it all right so there's something here about someone not seeing an offer coming at them like they just don't see it and that's the central issue of the entire reading someone not seeing this all right now we also have the six of wands here and this person looks exhausted but this also means somebody will be successful i'm not sure if they're trying to achieve success as a single person so if this is your energy you might not be looking at any offers coming in because you're trying to be successful as your own person or vice versa it could be this queen that's doing this if it's not you like if you don't feel like you are her right so i really feel like someone's trying to achieve some sense of balance and um hold on one second you guys okay i'm so sorry for the interruption so it really seems to me like somebody's really working on their independence and it's been a long haul look how she just looks exhausted but she's getting into this really high vibration um so it might be that Aquarius, if somebody's rejecting you, especially if they're a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, they're really not rejecting you. They, first of all, might not see the offer. And second of all, like, you know, they don't even know they're busy. They're working their butts off and the cup's coming from nowhere, out of nowhere. And they're like, you know, they're just so busy doing their thing, right? Um, or, and this could be you as well. Like I said, this could very well be your energy. And you're here not seeing something about someone who's trying to offer you something could be a cancer Pisces Scorpio right this or that could be your energy um, so what I really see here is that somebody is busy becoming very independent and strong independence I mean we're talking six of wands nine of Pentacles it doesn't get much stronger than that independently right um, and somebody is trying to come in and make this offer and it's either not being seen or um, this person, it, it doesn't feel to me negative. It feels to me like someone's not really um, seeing the offer or um, entertain. Maybe they're not even dating. You know what I mean? So, or you're not even dating, right? Because I don't know which one's which here because it came through as Queen of Cups, right? So what I really see here is... Um, somebody and I feel like it's see I keep coming back to this thinking it could be you but it could be someone coming towards you we have someone out of the blue the tower coming in to offer relationship and balance to either you or you're the one offering the commitment and the balance but whatever it is it comes in like out of the blue so I want to look this up because uh, I want to do some clarifying here because I really want to see how we get from somebody of really strong independence doing their own thing, not paying any attention to boom. Like it's almost like you, they can't avoid it anymore because it comes in. Now this, now remember, I tell people this all the time. I've been trying to remember to say this in the videos. When it comes through as something like a tower, you know, like, oh my God, the building's burning down. Oh my gosh. It doesn't have to be, 
like this, right? It's just spirit's way of letting us know that suddenly this happens. Someone comes in, look at all the good energy that comes in, right? Suddenly, boom, something gets balanced out. We offer a commitment and there you are. Aquarius, the star card is an Aquarius card and we have Libra and Aquarius again. I strongly feel like you're dealing with an Aquarius or you, I mean a Libra or you have very strong Libra in your chart. Um, this person could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio with a lot of Libra in their chart, or they could be a Libra with a lot of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart, or you could be a Aquarius coming through as the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Love, right? Whether you're male or female, doesn't matter to me. So anyway, this is what I see happening. That All of a sudden, the tower, which is not going to burn to the ground or hurt anybody or harm anyone, it's just showing us that this suddenly comes in, that somebody comes in and makes, it's almost like, this offer comes in in a way that you can't miss it, right? It can't be missed this time. Somebody handles it in a more balanced way and really comes in and makes the offer face to face, right? This can't be missed this time. All right. I hope this makes sense to somebody. I don't have a whole lot to say about this reading, but let's do a little bit of clarifying here. All right, spirit and angels, only because this reading is so straightforward. There's really nothing else about this reading. Um, I don't know. There might be a little history behind it. I'm not sure, but let's see what we can find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. It just wouldn't be fair to move on without giving you guys any clarity on this. What do we need to know? Aquarius reading, what's most important? What are the most important messages? We have, actually, I should have, well, we'll just keep going. I was going to say we should just go into after tarot on this one, but that's okay. We'll see what happens when we clarify. What do we need to know about this reading for Aquarius? One more shuffle, Aquarius reading. Okay, let's get a little peek at all of a sudden, boom, the offer comes in either to Aquarius or from Aquarius, depending on which part you play here. Tell me about the tower with the six of pentacles, two of cups, and the star. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on one sec. Okay. Just one or two, please. The tower, the six of pentacles, the two of cups, and the star for Aquarius reading, please. The Aquarius reading, what's most important? Yeah, absolutely. So the offer will not be missed. It, somebody is going to shine the light so bright on this offer that it won't be missed this time. And it's going to complete a cycle because in this deck, this, the sun also has this universe cycle on it, the wheel. Okay, it says the sun, but it is like a two for one card in my opinion. Um, this is going to finally illuminate something and complete a cycle. So we're finally going to get an answer we're finally going to be able to move from one uh cycle to another somebody could have been stuck a very long time here and in fact look at the bottom of the deck oh my gosh oh my gosh i can't even show you all this okay first of all we got the nine of cups which is wish fulfillment. We also have the star, with, which is wish fulfillment, which is also your card. So something you very much want. Somebody has been holding back. Look how much they've been holding back. The Knight of Cups reversed, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, and guess what? In between them, the Four of Pentacles holding back, holding back, holding back. You both could be holding back for all I know. This is getting finally someone's going to stop holding back and come forward. The Knight of Swords could also be someone holding back, okay? Not speaking how they feel. They're thinking about it, but they haven't spoke it. They're trying to figure out how to go about it because the person involved isn't seeing the offer or understanding it. So they're going to do it in a more... I'm going to tell you, if you're an Aquarius, you're going to... If you want this, and boy, do I see that you do. I mean, literally, this is what I want nine of cups star but this is what i'm doing not putting myself out there and then spirit says well yes you are if you just let yourself and this is here the four of pentacles thankfully shows up in reverse which means you're ready to put yourself out there or they are right i don't know which one's which here i feel like it's you because this is your wish fulfillment right uh, maybe you are someone else's wish fulfillment but somebody is afraid that strength in reverse to offer the cup 
in reverse. I'm afraid to offer the cup or I'm afraid to accept the cup. Why? Somebody might just be working way too hard and they don't even see it. They're working while it's being offered. Do you see that? I feel like someone is very focused on their independence, very focused on work that they're doing, very focused on something here and they're not seeing an offer. I also feel like maybe someone's been afraid to really put in the effort or to put it out there you know sometimes people will be like hey do you want to um i don't know do you want to go do you want to uh, you know it might be something really minute like do you want to hang out with me and my friends right something like this right but the truth is what they really want to say is i want to take you out on a date you know but they don't say it the right way hey uh if you're not doing anything i'm heading down to the diner you want to go no in your face has to be done here because the person that you're saying it to or them you right they're not it's not in your face it's back here so they don't see it and they're busy working right or whatever it is that they are doing they're occupied with something else while you or they are this could be you occupied with something else while somebody's trying to hand you this cup right so there's multiple things going on there's either someone who isn't seeing this offer or doesn't fully understand what it is, or someone, one of you, isn't putting yourself out there in the correct way. It has to be in your face. This says this has to be in somebody's face, whether it's you or them, them or you. Now, if you're the one um, who's coming through in this real Libra energy here, um, it could be that you're really just not um, accepting offers right now because of the fact that... Um, you know, you're very, you're doing this independent thing, trying to gain this independence or you're working really hard, right? And this all could be vice versa, right? You could be the one or it could be someone else. I, I lost you guys for a minute there, Aquarius, before I could pull your angel cards. So I'm hoping I can put these two halves together so I don't have to put the angel cards on a separate video. That'd be so dumb. Anyway, I'm just pulling you a couple of angel cards here. Angels, what do we need to know here for Aquarius? What do we need to know? Or anyone else who's here to watch the Aquarius reading. Okay, well, healing came out. Flexibility came out. Peace came out. And kindness. Wow. Interesting. They're all cards of softness like being flexible coming in flexible maybe that's what this is about like somebody's been rejecting someone because they don't like the way they're offering or they don't like that they're ignoring them or they don't maybe somebody's just not being flexible here but i think that they are i think that it really comes down when i look at this reading it really looks to me like somebody's working really hard and so the other person's gonna have to come in with like hey this person's like working really hard so maybe they just don't have time to date or maybe they just don't see offers because they're so focused on what they're doing. So coming in with a real kind of a flexible kind of a healing vibe might be the answer. I don't know, guys. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you'd like to comment down below and don't forget your monthlies are out there. Your dailies are out there. Your um, This is your weekly um what else your weekend readings out there and your monday reading if you're seeing this then your monday reading just came out or it's about to okay anyway guys thanks so much for being here don't forget to like the video it helps the channel and i appreciate it talk to you soon bye